On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the Specialized Rock Hopper Expert. This is the brand new 2021 model of this Specialized Rock Hopper. It represents a top tier spec offering on the affordable lineup from Specialized. Before we get into this bike, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So the Specialized Rock Hopper has been in Specialized lineup for a very long time. And what's pretty neat about it is new for 2021, they've combined what used to be a Specialized Pitch and the old Specialized Rock Hopper. The Pitch used to be the 27 and a half inch tire version and the Rock Hopper was a little more XC oriented 29er. But instead for 2021, They've made the Specialized Rock Hopper a little more of a trail bike and it comes in both 27.5 and 29er wheels. So from an extra small to medium, the bike will actually run 27 and a half inch wheels to an extra, extra large, it'll run 29ers. So the version we're checking out here is a medium, but it's set up with the 29 inch wheels. So also talking about the bike, we should check out the frame. So this frame is made out of specialized A1 premium aluminum. It's a pretty nice looking bike. It's got all internally cable routed cable routing and it's gonna have a little bit slacker front end to the bike, a little more roomy geometry, but it's still gonna be set up where a beginning rider is gonna be confident on this bike to have a huge amount of fun just about everywhere. For the front end, this is gonna be running the RockShock Judy. This RockShock fork is gonna be an air sprung fork. It has a turnkey hydraulic damper, which of course has lockout to it. And it's gonna be air adjustable, which means right underneath this cap, you're gonna be able to set this bike up with a proper air pressure for you for the riding style and your own weight. So along with that really nice fork for a bike like this, we're also gonna have a wide range 12 speed drivetrain. So this bike is gonna run a single ring up front. It's gonna be a 30 tooth front chain ring and narrow wide on this SRAM SX crank set going through a threaded bottom bracket. And then towards the back, it's gonna have the wide range 11 to 50 tooth 12 speed cassette from SRAM's NX lineup to match up with the NX rear derailleur. This is gonna make for a super wide range of gearing in the back of the bike. It's gonna allow for a pretty sweet setup. And because the derailleur is clutched, it's not gonna have a lot of chain slap. So what I mean by that, as you can see here, the derailleur doesn't wanna move forward. And that's because inside of here, it's got a clutch setup. So when running this one by, it's gonna be nice and quiet and pretty reliable. Now coming away from the drivetrain, the tires and the wheel set is gonna be pretty awesome on this rig. So this bike is running Specialized own Stout SL wheel set. This is a tubeless ready rim. It's 25 millimeters internal width. It's set up with 32 holes in the rear and 28 up front. But what I really like is it's got these 29 by 2.3 ground control tires, which are gonna be a nice 60 TPI tire, but even better, it's tubeless ready. So while the bike doesn't come out of the box with tubeless, it is still tubed when you buy it new. With just some valves and some sealant, you'll be set up and running tubeless in no time. The benefit to that on a bike like this is gonna be that you're gonna get a lot less likelihood of flats because pinch flats are totally eliminated, but it's also gonna help save some weight. And it's a pretty easy and inexpensive mod to get done. Checking out the braking system on the bike. This is set up with Shimano's MT200 brakes. This has the nice long reach lever, which is gonna make it easy for modulation. You've of course got these two piston calipers running on center lock 160 millimeter rotors. Going through the bike, if you want to, it does have a mount for a kickstand just in front of the rear wheel. And very nicely, it's got rack mounts to the bike. So if you want your mountain bike to be a little more versatile or to be able to use this as a super rugged hybrid, you can absolutely do that as well. The last things to mention are gonna be where you sit and touch the bike. So this is set up with a 
specialized body geometry ridge saddle. It's a pretty nice and comfortable saddle. It's gonna be running on an alloy 30.9 seat post, which I should mention is routed so that if you added a dropper post, you could run it internally. And then on the cockpit, you're gonna have an alloy stem and an alloy 31.8, nice wide handlebar with some pretty comfortable lock-on grips. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and the designs of this 2021 Specialized Rock Hopper, let's go ahead and find out what this weighs. The actual weight of the 2021 Specialized Rock Hopper Expert in a medium is 29.89 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2021 Specialized Rock Hopper. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, leave me a thumbs up. It really lets me know that you enjoyed the video.